Hey, what's up, IGN? It's Mike Thompson from Insider, and we're here at Treyarch Studios. We're going to get a special behind-the-scenes look at the upcoming Bond game, Quantum of Solace. Let's go see what they're working on. Quantum of Solace is actually the first true Bond sequel. It actually picks up where Casino Royale leaves off. I think the biggest lesson learned in terms of when you're making movie games is to get in very early on and really understand what they're going after with their movie, with their character. And in this case, we've had the benefit of working with uh, the movie guy since Casino Royale. So we got in real early and really got to take away what it was that this new Bond was all about, you know. He was definitely a different Bond than the other Bonds. He's, you know, a bit more gritty and, you know, uh, he was intense. The name's Bond. James Bond. One of the key challenges for us was that we wanted you to be able to play as Bond but, but also to be able to see Bond because, let's face it, Daniel Craig and Bond, he's just so cool. You know, we know that the Call of Duty 4 engine does first person better than anyone. So we have that foundation, and on top of that foundation, we had to make some pretty intense changes to the technology to allow for that third person character and the ability to be able to seamlessly kind of move from I'm Bond to like, hey, it reminds me I'm playing Daniel Craig. So our team is really large right now. We've got over 90 people just in our building and then there's 50 people from a support standpoint. This team has a, a kind of a next gear that I haven't seen before. And the effort that these guys put in is amazing. At this point, as far as the day-to-day -day goes, I'm really focused on two things. One is playing a hell of a lot of the game and looking at what we have and poking holes at it, seeing a lot of bugs and, and work with guys on bugs. And then the second part is really, is really the fires, is putting out the fires and how do we make this better? How do we make this look better? How do we make this play better? Here, oh my gosh, this is way too hard at this difficulty level. How do we tune this back? So that's really the, what the day-to-day -day looks like seven days a week. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. This is not quite as sexy as a Bond movie. So this is the office of Adam Rosas, our lead animator. In our game with our AI, what we're trying to do is we're trying to sell a certain silhouette. And that silhouette, in a subconscious kind of way, would tell the player, what's the AI thinking? Is he aware that I'm around him? Is he kind of suspicious? Or is he full alert, ready to take me on? This is one of the test maps that we got from the programmers. So we have our thugs here. We have green, where nothing's going on, they have no idea you're there. Yellow, where he's a little suspicious, guns up a little higher. Then you have red, where he's practically aiming, almost ready to attack you. Because if you move too fast in our game and you make too much noise, they're going to hear you and look over their shoulder. So it encourages you to be more stealth. I mean, being able to read the body language tells you everything. My name is Jeremy Ludes, and I'm one of the co-directors on Quantum of Solace. So what we have here is a concept art from one of the levels you're going to be playing called a Casino Royale. Looking at this particular screenshot, you'll notice that in the background we have a moon, we have a light hue of white coming over across the top of all the geometry, and then it goes off into a dark sky. But then everything south of that is going to be geometry that we're going to build out into the world. And what that allows us to do is it allows us to create a full gameplay experience that the player really thinks that he's in a real living world. The next shot we're going to be showing you is a shot of the spa. This is our 3D tool that basically allows us to create all of the geo of the world. So you can see it's got no lighting, it doesn't look like anything like it would from those particular mood shots or the concept art. You'll notice things like little blue diamonds, those little blue diamonds are our lights. Let's go take a look at it and see what it looks like in game. This basically gives you guys an idea of how closely we actually nail the vision of what it looks like in concept to the editor to getting it in game. So this is our sound design room. If you're getting any of the audio, you can tell from some of these rooms there's already a lot of recording going on right now. My name is Jerry Berlangieri. I'm the audio director on Quantum of Salus. I have a very talented crew of six sound designers. About 90% of what you're hearing in Quantum of Salus is original material. For example, something like the beginning of the casino level, you're in an elevator. And the sounds of the bond, if he bangs against the walls, you kind of hear the rattle of that elevator. So we recorded it from the perspective, it's the elevator here at Treyarch. And we discovered this when we were actually recording the sounds of the elevator shaking. That if you do it enough times, an alarm starts to blare. 
and we figured that would be a good uh, sonic moment too that would give you an opportunity to maybe lure one of these mercs over here. And it's kind of thinking like Bond, because we definitely see him do that in the movies. The really neat thing about Bond is, is there's a lot of contrast. You've got those really loud moments, and you've got hallways that you can kind of sneak through, where we can put the focus on something like a grandfather clock that's clicking in the corner. So sonically and musically, they all kind of come together to try to suggest the pacing and tempo for the player. All right, well, there you have it. That's Quantum of Solace. Hope you guys liked it. We'll see you next time.